set in the Dutch settlement of New Amsterdam in 1663 in what is now Lower Manhattan, my novel concerns a she-merchant named Blondine Van Coovering as she attempts to solve a series of grisly crimes in the colony. Orphans keep disappearing. At the same time, she must keep herself alive amid the suspicions of her fellow colonists. Wendy Vancouvering, the she-merchant of the book, was one of the first Americans. She was spunky, independent, beautiful, obstinate sometimes, but she was everything that America was in a sense. And it was amazing to be able to find actual events that took place and to actually transfer them directly into the Orphan Master. It's based on a solid palette of historical fact. New Amsterdam, on the lower tip of Manhattan, was a tiny, intimate community. About 1,500 people, only about 15 streets, and it was a place where everyone knew everyone else. So there was a lot of trade going on, and a lot of people were reinventing their lives. So it was a lot like New York today. What is now the U.S. Customs House at the base of Broadway, now the Museum of the American Indian, was Fort Amsterdam, which was the central feature of New Amsterdam. And that was a place that Blondine Van Coovering would have walked by every day going about her business. Wall Street was actually a wall in those days. It was built in order to keep out Indians, the French, whoever the Dutch were afraid was going to attack them. Manhattan and New Amsterdam was a tiny little place carved out of the wilderness. An experience of the primeval that we really can't imagine now. The legends of the Native Americans may have survived longer than the Native Americans themselves who were fast evaporating from the scene. Their legends still haunted the land. One Algonquin myth concerned the Whittaka a monster nine feet tall with long stringy hair and a cannibalistic appetite. Orphans of the settlement were going missing and stories of the Whittaka stoked colonists' fears for them. But a new power was also stirring. The British, whose invasion in 1664 signaled the end of New Amsterdam and the birth of New York City as we know it today.